everyone. So today I am going to be walking through how to make your first React app from start to finish, installing it to making something uh, just like this. We're going to make a up and down counter. So as you can see, down, up. Uh, it's not much to look at, but uh, I would encourage you to take the time. Uh, we might take the time to make it look a little nicer, but at the end of the day, this is basically the functionality that it's going to do. So, uh, first of all, uh, we're going to have to start terminal. Uh, and if you haven't, and probably you haven't uh, created uh, your first React app, if you're watching this video, uh, and I will point this out once we get to that point. So go ahead, let's see, I'm gonna quit this. Oops, quit that. Okay. All right, so first we have to open up where I want this to be. I want this to be in my GitHub folder. And if you've never created a React app, you first, like before you do this next step, you need to do, to do this npm install dash g create React app and it'll install everything. And what the G stands for is globally. Uh, you only have to do that once. Uh, but I have already done that, and so I am going to say uh, down here to get it running, which is create React app, and then basically whatever you want your app to be named, I'm going to say YouTube counter. All right. And it's going to do its thing. doesn't always normally take this long. I am working on some slower internet today. Okay, well as that gets going, uh, you can open up your favorite text editor. I happen to use Visual Studios. Uh, and then you open up your folder This is mine. So this is what it's going to look like when it's all done. And it says, happy hacking. I love that little message. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna open this back up. And you say open folder, you navigate to this and you'll see there's a whole bunch of stuff in there now, which is fantastic open. Now this is where all the files are going to go. It pre-makes a whole bunch of this stuff and sometimes I leave some of these things in there but what I'm going to do right now so we get in the practice of things is I'm actually going to go in there and delete everything. See ya. Okay, so now there's nothing in there, but we're going to start making it from scratch. So new file. So you always start with an index.js. There's also index.css that we'll need later. Okay, in the index.js, let's make this bigger. In the index.js, so every file in React always has import React from React. Okay, um, and a lot of these imports up here either are going to be accessing another file that we create, uh, and it just sticks in different pieces from other places into there, or it might be accessing some sort of package uh, that you have downloaded to help you have some sort of functionality in your app. Uh, but this one, this is going to be on every single page always, so it knows that it's a, it's React. All right, so then on the main index file, 
how, and this is the way I learned it, just to preface. There are different ways of setting up React. Uh, that's one of the great things about React, is that you can do it the way that you like. Uh, but I should preface that this is just the way that I learned it. Okay, so uh, we're going to import the React DOM. So import React DOM from React DOM. Cool, and these are things that we downloaded before in here, okay? Just so you know where that's coming from. Okay, um, I'm also going to import the CSS file uh, just so I don't have to do it later. Um, cool, and it's in the same folder, so you just have to put the dot slash to get it going so it knows that it's file path. Neat, okay. All right, so this is how we set up the page. We say class app, which is kind of the name of the page. Extend React component. And then we can do curly braces. Reducer. And then we put these, more curly braces, and return. And we break those up there. Um, and as you can see, I'm getting an error here. And the reason for that is because there's nothing inside this return. It's telling me that. And so I'm right now, I just start with like putting a div in there. I'll just put in some text. Hey, I'm alive. Uh, and we'll see that. Um, and then after all of this, and this little part is special to the index.js where everything is. So, okay, so what it is is React DOM, right? We have React DOM up here. Dot render app document Okay, document.getElement by ID, uh, parentheses, and then I'm gonna, I have to say root. Okay. All right, so let's talk about what's going on here. Uh, a helpful way to think about React is that it's just one giant um, JavaScript function that's doing a whole bunch of callback functions, and that'll make more sense as we continue on. Um, but what we're doing here is that we're exporting um, this app, a uh, little function type idea here, right here, and then it's returning a div, okay? Um, so this div inside of here isn't regular HTML, it's actually JSX. Um, it's you can think of it basically like HTML, but one thing to remember is that it always has a closing tag. So some things in regular HTML, like an input tag, that might not have a closing. Um, in JSX, you need a closing so it doesn't yell at you. Um, another thing about this right here is that every time you return something uh, in one of these, uh, components here is that it can only return one item. So it can only have like one sort of all encompassing div to then export it out. Um, that'll probably make more sense later. But so if this div is in here, there's like text inside of here. But I couldn't just do another div and be like, I'm another div. Um, it's, it's going to yell at you. And so what you would have to do is actually put this div inside of it um, and maybe, you know, customize accordingly. But anyways, so we have our one div, it says I'm alive. So what is this down here? Let's go back to this. So it's getting, it's grabbing this component and it's saying, hey, let's render this out so people can see it. Okay, and it's grabbing this get element by ID root. Okay, what is that? Where is that? So if we go into this public folder that 
was automatically created, we see this index.html. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm sure you could read over it. But the important part here is that this is the main div. This is like you never have to touch the HTML index page or do anything except maybe add in some links uh, and stuff like that uh, for like external CSS, like if you want Google fonts or something. But uh, this is where it's going to. This is where everything, everything is going to go to. Uh, eventually, other components are all going to go into here. There's going, we're going to make other components like this class app extends, except they're going to be called their own custom thing, and they will live inside of this div. But for now, let's go ahead and make sure that it's there. Okay. So here we are. Said npm start. Let's uh, cd into our uh, YouTube counter. Okay, and then to get this going so it renders up on the screen, you just say npm start. This little engine going. Okay, and it just it runs it off of a local host. Uh oh. Okay, so sorry about that. I definitely made a typo. I have been thinking about Redux too much. And instead of, I accidentally put reducer there. Uh, it is definitely supposed to be render. So go ahead and put render there instead of reducer and it should work just fine. And as you can see, it says, hey, I'm alive. Yay. Cool. So what we're going to do as this continues, uh, we'll probably make another video here, is that there's going to be different pieces, like I said, that are going to go in here. They're going to look like this, except they'll be like counter piece or whatever, and they'll go inside there. Okay, so that's, that's what we have to look forward to in the next video. All right, hope to see you there. Hope this was helpful. All right, bye.